Well, hello. Um, I recently did a programme on a, a very English symphony, Vaughan Williams' Fifth, and I thought I'd like to do another one, um, and I really didn't have to think too hard about which one to choose. William Walton's wonderful first symphony, which he completed in 1935, when he was 33. Um, Walton came from Oldham in Lancashire, and he came from a musical family. He was 18 when he went to Christchurch in Oxford and uh, becoming the, the youngest undergraduate at that university since Henry VIII, apparently. By the time he wrote his first symphony, he had something of a, of a reputation as an avant-garde music, musician. It was a reputation he never really kept. Um, as his music became known for being strong melodically, often romantic in nature and, and sometimes quite nostalgic. Some of his work is very well known indeed, and, and including much of his film music, of which he wrote quite a bit. I think I'll talk a bit more about that in another programme, but just for now, let's concentrate on his first symphony. Because it's an astonishing work that, that's been rightly compared with some of the very best of Sibelius's orchestral music. Walton once said, symphonies are a, a lot of work to write. Uh, one has to have something really appalling to happen to one that lets loose the fountain of inspiration. Although some of Walton's music has been accused of being somewhat um, accessible and, and sometimes even facile, some, some have said, that can't be said of, of his first symphony. Um, it was once commented, not many would wish to call Walton one of the great 20th century composers, um, but the claim that his first symphony is one of the great 20th century symphonies is not excessive. Um, I think it's the fact that Walton gave his all in, in this work and really emptied his heart into it that makes the end product so, so remarkable. He said, you know, uh, all my pieces are really about girls. Um, he dedicated his first symphony to a young German widow with whom he had had an affair. Walton started writing this symphony in 1932. He was always a very slow and meticulous composer and, and his progress on this work was, was gradual. Um, by early 1933 he had finished the first two movements and by the end of the year he completed the third movement. But then, as can often happen with composers, writers block set in and he just couldn't complete the finale. Uh, it's, it's been said that the reason for this was the breakup of his six-year affair with the widow I mentioned earlier, Baroness Emma von Dornberg. She apparently left him for a hum Hungarian doctor. Um, she apparently was frustrated that Walton, Walton was spending too much time on his symphony and not enough time with her. Anyway, I think it's time we have some music now, so let's start at the beginning with the first movement. There's something I think there's something of the Beethoven in this movement, in that Walton seems to make so much from so very little. And there's also something quite quite ele elemental, I think, in it. Um, it's got real momentum and an, an unrelenting driving power. I should tell you that the, the, the recording I'm using in, in this programme is by the London Symphony Orchestra, conducted by uh, Colin Davis. I listened to two or three recordings um, of this symphony. This one's a, a concert performance recorded in the Barbican in London in 2005, and I generally steer clear of live recordings, but, but not here, for one reason, um, and one reason only, I think. We don't go to concerts these days. I, I, I love going to concerts, but we don't go nowadays, so let's pretend we're at one now. Here's the first movement.
sure if you listened closely enough you'd have heard the, the kitchen sink in there somewhere. Now we come to the, the second movement, a scherzo, um, with its nervous energy. Presto con malizia, uh, with malice, is what Walton asked for. So is this movement that's dark and thrilling and, and malicious, spiteful even, um, what's it all about? Did he want to express his frustration and fears about the end of his affair with the German widow I mentioned earlier? Certainly Walton admitted that the intensity of, of this movement and, and came from deep within. The, the movement seems to explode in a, a series of climaxes at the end. So, so let's hear it. It's not a, it's not a long movement.
We'll hear the remainder of William Alton's first symphony in the next video.